Hi everyone, it's Eva and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another speed build for you with the brand new Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. To be honest, I've barely even played the game properly because I love the build and buy mode so much. I had so many cool ideas of what I wanted to build. So here is my second eco lifestyle project so far, a converted train carriage. I obviously built a container home first thing when the pack came out because that's what the build mode items are literally made for. But I was really intrigued to build something like this, a bit more different. I mean, the industrial part of the neighborhood is perfect for it. I literally built this on a lot that is surrounded by old trains and rails. So this is meant to be. Um, and to build the train, I did the same trick I used for the floating cliff house that I built. You just build two identical floors and then you delete the bottom one so you can raise the top one to whatever height you want it to be without having a foundation there. So it's literally floating in the air. Sadly, we don't really have anything that looks like train wheels, but I worked around that with some of the debug objects from the Eco Lifestyle Pack, and that's also where I got the train tracks and other train related objects from. The debug section of the Eco Lifestyle game is literally filled with so many cool objects that we've not really had in the game before. There have been trains, but they look absolutely horrendous. So yeah, the new ones kind of kind of inspired me to do this really cool build. Yeah, to access any of the debug objects, you have to use two cheats, namely bb.showHiddenObjects and bb.showLiveEditObjects, and there you'll find all the gameplay and world objects. So my idea for this build was to have two relatively old and industrial trains that are connected and have been converted to a surprisingly spacious home. And it's also surprisingly cute inside and not like old or disgusting at all. I didn't want to make like a really old train inside. I went for a very light color scheme with lots of pastels because the new buy mode items come in such gorgeous swatches. I honestly adore them so, so much. and. Most of the eco lifestyle items that I used for this are the ones that sims can craft themselves. So they're not available to buy unless you use the cheats I mentioned earlier. And I honestly think they give off such a like crafty vibe because they look like they've literally been put together by hand. And I love that. And that was exactly the style I was looking for for this build. And as you probably noticed, I can't help but use decorations from the new pack. I am so excited about these. They are so pretty, like the vases, the flowers, little things, oh, just gorgeous. They're so detailed, they're just something else. And in general, I think the newer packs contain objects that get more and more beautiful with each pack and they really work well with each other and the furniture style. So yeah, I can't stop using them. <laughs> By the way, if you enjoy this video and want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. I'd be super excited to see you again in my next video. So this is a family home for three. I created a toddler bedroom because of the gorgeous new toddler bed we got with the new pack. And there's also a crafting room with some of the new skill machines like the candle making machine and the fizzy drink maker so your sims can be very crafty in this converted train carriage. At the same time, there is a bit of a gardening space outside on the balcony with plant pots and the new insect farm. And yeah, to be honest, I just like the idea of a family living in this polluted area and trying to make it a greener space with the little balcony and like the little ways that they can contribute. But that's also why I didn't really want to cover the place too much with garbage because there is a lot of that in the debug section. Um, I did scatter a couple of items around the area, but at the same time, I'd like to think a family living in this gorgeous converted carriage wouldn't have tons of litter lying around. <laughs> I also really love that we have tires now also in the debug section. As you might have noticed, I am a huge fan of everything to do with the debug section. <laughs> because yeah, these tires look so cute if you put plant pots inside them, because it really adds to this industrial vibe. And I think it looks really cute. This is it for today's speed build. The final tour is coming up so you can see it all being nicely put together. So definitely stay around for that. And let me know your thoughts on this build in the comments. I'd love to hear what you all think of this converted train carriage and see you in the next video. Bye.